Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. Today I'll be painting a dog's face and um, I'll be painting just the face on side view. Okay, because I really like dramatic effects like this. I just don't paint dogs. I try to uh, choose subjects that are more um, like they are full of emotions. I just don't paint a dog. Like, you don't just send me a picture of a dog and I'll just paint it. Because for me, the emotions that are captured uh, when you look at the eyes of the dog, their facial expressions, I just love the facial expressions of dogs. And by the way, if you love dogs, hello, I also love dogs. I don't have a dog at the moment because, you know, um, um, dogs uh, require a lot of caring, a lot of attention, and... With the person that I am, I do a lot of things like work and paint and work out. And yeah, I, I will definitely not succeed in taking good care of a dog at the moment. But definitely I will get a dog. Okay. And for the types of dogs, I love, love pit bulls. I love Labradors. I love Golden Retrievers. Samoyed. Um, basically, you can definitely notice... They are huggable, big dogs. I just love big dogs. All right, so I'm going to link in the description box below the colors that I'll be uh, using for this tutorial. But we will be using titanium white, black, um, yellow ochre, of course, some burnt sienna. You can also use like um, brown red. I'll be using my brown red. And I'll be using light browns we'll be using a lot of brownie colors today i'm not sure if i'll be using a little bit of yellow maybe i will so i'm just gonna get my cadmium yellow but that will be later i'm gonna prepare the color later because i'm not really sure if i'll be using it and also a little bit of orange i think i'll be using a little bit of orange and then as I mentioned, light brown, so we'll be using uh, brown, shades of browns. So we have light brown, dark brown, and um, medium colored, or uh, medium shade brown. Okay, so while I'm talking to you during the intro, I'm actually preparing the colors. Because I just want this video to start immediately so that we don't waste time anymore. So I'm going to get my brown red. Okay. okay, so let's begin now. I'll be sketching first the face of the dog. I was uh, planning or I was thinking about doing this yesterday, but yesterday night. But um, I really also didn't want to rush this one because it was already evening. And if I was feeling sleepy already, I don't want this tutorial to be messy, not, you know, as good as I want it to be. So I'm going to use my brown red to sketch first the subject. I'm using an 11 by 14 um, canvas paper. So I'm going to eyeball everything. So I, I just love dogs. Okay. And definitely adjustments will be made later if I think that um, they should be done. Okay. I actually think that adjustment should be made. All right, we're just sketching the subject. And what I notice um, here in America, 
is that a lot of people just love dogs. I mean, um, they're into taking good care of dogs. I also love dogs. Even when I was just in Korea, I just love, love dogs. Whenever I see a dog, I would stop and pet the dog, especially if I really, really like the type of dog. As I mentioned, I like um, Labrador's pit bulls. Surprisingly, I love pit bulls. They're so cute. I love their face. What I adore is their face. So again, as I mentioned, we'll be doing the side view of this dog. This will be the ears. I know it doesn't make sense at the moment. Okay. Usually my sketch don't really my sketches don't really make sense. <laughs> Uh, when you just first look at it, but later it will, okay? All right, now I'll be using my black just to sketch the inside detailing of my doggy. Since I love dogs, I will do my very best to really um, finish this tutorial um, the way I want it to finish, meaning I want the result to be the result that I want for this painting. I'm not going to rush things. So we're just sketching the nose. Okay. And again, this is very preliminary. We're just trying to um get the general look of this dog So this will be the jowls. Jowls? Is that correct? Jowls? Jowls. I think jowls. <laughs> this is where the side of the mouth is. Okay. Mm -hmm. just like that and I'll be mixing my brown and black just to color okay I'm gonna color this area okay just like that that's the underpainting for that and also this part. I'll be using brown red. Again, you can use burnt sienna for this. I'm just using brown red because that's the color I have. I still haven't bought my burnt sienna. But I also find it not necessary since I still have my other colors that I can definitely mix. And just come up with burnt sienna whenever I want to. But for purposes of those who are just beginning, beginners... And you just want to have paints that are, you don't have to mix anything. You don't have to, you just have to use them directly. You can purchase burnt sienna. Yeah. There's a paint for that. There's a paint for that color. And you can use it directly. As you can see here, I'm just trying to darken this part, but this is definitely not the exact color that should be reflected in the final look of the painting. This is just the underpainting. All right. And then I'm just going to go just around the mouth of my dog. I'll be getting my black and I'm just going to darken this part.
All right, just like that. Okay, you can see now. We will be backgrounding this. The reason why I did not background this is because a lot of the space is occupied by the dog's, the dog's face. So backgrounding first will be just a waste of time for me and a waste of paint. So I'll be changing my brush to a much thicker one so that I get a wider coverage in a few strokes. So I'll be getting my yellow worker. Okay, I'll be mixing it with my brown red. Okay, and then I'm just going to color this area. With this color. Just enjoy. Enjoy the process. I'm actually enjoying it. Okay, I'll be getting my brown red just to give it more depth. Okay, I'll be getting my light brown. Without washing my brush, I'm just going to spread this color right onto the face. Okay, again, light browns, you can wet your brush if you have to. Okay, I'm going to get my black just to gray this a bit. You know, sometimes using black, mixing it with the color, muting the color down, uh, it helps in applying some gray version of the color. So I'm graying it down. I'll be getting a lighter, a more light brown. Okay, and of course, <laughs> I'm using my hand because I'm, I love using my hands directly on the canvas. Um, I've mentioned that many, many times, and I've always done it. I've never uh, switched to just pure paintbrush. When it comes to painting, I always use my hands. Some people don't like it. I know that. And I would notice. Okay. I touched the painting that is hasn't dried yet. Okay, I'm going to get again some brown, light brown, but I'll be adding a little bit of burnt sienna or brown red in my case. Just to um, give it a different shade for this part. And as you can see here, I'm not really washing my brush. I just dab, I mean, I just use the colors that I need to use without washing my brush because I, I'm wetting my brush. I'm not um, washing it whenever I switch colors. And the reason why I don't do that is because I want the presence of other colors to be there, even if more dominantly, I only intend to use one color, one specific color, if that makes sense. Okay. I'll be getting again my light browns, but I'll be graying that down. So I'll be using black and then my light brown. So this area should be more grayish brown. The nose area. And I'll be, of course, painting over the nose, the sketch part. That was only the sketch. When I use brown here, it was only the sketch. Again, I'll be using my lightest brown color, but I'm using my black to just gray it. So if you don't have a light brown color, you can just use your burnt sienna, add white to that, and add black to gray that down. Try to experiment as well with your colors because it's, it's really great. It's really a learning, um, it's a personal learning experience that even teachers cannot really teach you. Because first-hand experience is um, more effective. 
than just listening to someone talk. Okay, I'm going to get again my gray colors and I'll be graying this area down. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just gently um, gliding my brush, you know, almost dry brushing, but not really. I'm trying to create soft brush chokes. You know, I'm also allowing the brush to do the job for me. I'm not absolutely controlling it. I allow the bristles to do the job. And since we're doing a fur, um, a fur friend, we want to make sure that an indication of fur is there. Okay, and also here. Okay, you can use a, a tiny brush here, but I'll just use this brush that I have here. All right. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. It's not even done yet. <laughs> I just love dogs. Okay. I, I just keep repeating that, you know, yesterday, um, I was, uh, inside the elevator and there was a pit bull. I was just wearing shorts because, you know, it's just inside the building and, he licked my leg and uh, that was so cute <laughs> i think that was so cute because i love pit bulls that's it i love their faces they're so nice and they're so cute okay i'm just gonna use the remaining gray paint color here okay i'm just using it very um random randomly here okay just to gray some areas down and i'm gonna make some adjustment here because i feel like the ears are very droopy right here i'm gonna raise it a bit so i'm gonna use the previous brush that i use in sketching i'm gonna use my black okay i'm just gonna make some little adjustment find it really weird okay so instead of here it's it should be here and definitely the shape of the ear will move a little here. Okay, did you get that? Okay, now I'm gonna continue the underpainting here. Okay, I need more brown. I'm just gonna get my brown. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to use my brown red. So I'm going to use my brown red and it's too um, black. Again, this is the underpainting. This is not the final look of it. But I want to show you how the shape of it. Okay, great. Okay, I'm going to get my yellow ochre and just try to color this area. Okay, and also here. Okay, I'm. I'm I'm filling in the spaces that I have here because it's just weird. And some depth as well. Use black just to fill in those spaces. Okay, just like that. All right, this is so cute. Oh my God. Okay, what do you think? Should I background it? I kind of like this as is, but I think I'm going to background it. Okay. I'm going to switch to another brush, smaller, a smaller, really, really old brush of mine. So you can see here, it's super uh, 
um, what do you call it, super hard, okay? The bristles are no longer bristles for me. They are like sticks, but they help in creating, they help in creating fur and the effect that I want for this painting. So just get yourself some hard old brush, whatever it is that you got. And I'm going to use, okay, I'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre. And I'm going to start creating some fur details. So you can see the advantage of using old brushes is that you create brush strokes that are not super soft and we don't want that for our fur animals, uh, for um, furry <laughs> friends. Okay. And you can definitely hear the brush strokes. All right. I'm going to get my brown. Just to separate this. Okay, I'm going to get my black. And I'm just going to use my fingers. Okay, let's create some gray color. I'm going to mix my white and black. But then I'll be using that right here. Okay, I'll be using a lighter gray color. It's too dark. So I'm lightening my gray color. And of course, I use my fingers to just blend. Again, if you're not a fan of finger painting, my videos are probably not for you. And I'm not going to teach you another way of doing it. I'm not going to be the one to make some adjustments, right? When it comes to my painting style. Okay, I'm showing you how I'm doing it. And you can actually discover the method for yourself. So I'm just spreading a little bit of brownie colors just around the mouth. Jowls. Yeah, I think it's jowls. Okay, great. And also nose. Okay, just like that. <laughs> it's so cute. And I'm going to create some more separation lines right here. Okay. Make sure that you don't create a super straight line like that. You want to create separation lines that is still consist that are still consistent with you know the fur patterns. I'm just gonna use a little bit of black. And let's see. Okay, right. And I'm going to add a little bit of um, markings. Okay, yeah, that's the right term. That's the right term. I'm going to apply some markings on the nose area. 
you know what i really like about this is not a pit bull by the way but let's talk about pit bulls because i just love them what i really like about pit bulls is that their lips i mean not their lips but the pinkish color around their mouth it's so cute i don't know why it's just so cute i'm gonna use a little bit of gray Okay, and then more white. But I'm still using my old brush because it I kind of like how it creates the pattern that I look that I want for this painting. Just like this. Okay, I'm gonna get my light brown and white. And I'm gonna oh that's too thick. I'm gonna get my black again. And I'm just gonna spread a little bit of dark markings right here. Okay, sign back. And I'm going to redefine this area. Okay, okay just like that. And I'm going to use a more pointy brush. I'm going to get again my gray color. And I'm going to apply some highlight. Brush only on the nose area. So now we're doing some tiny bit of detailing. And I also like to boop, to boop the nose of dogs. Well, I really act, don't actually do it, but it's so tempting. Like when you look at the nose, it's just wet and soft and rubbery. That's why it's very tempting to just boop it. But again, I really don't, I really don't do it. I do that to my stuffed toys. Okay, I'm going to get my brown again. So we're just, you know, trying to combine all the colors that we have on our palette. Again, don't be scared to, do, to use your hand directly on the canvas. This is your um, closest contact to your own painting, believe me. 
Okay, I'm just going to make some markings around the ear area. Just to make sure that we're still... So I'm mixing brown and yellow ochre. So we're just making sure that we're still doing some fur patterns. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get my yellow ochre again. Okay, just going to use my yellow ochre right here. Okay, I'm going to use my black. Let's create some depth. Okay. I actually love this one. Oh my God. Love it. It just shows how much I love dogs. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to get the gray color that we already had, but I'll be darkening it using more black, okay? And I'll be dabbing on some gray color just around the mouth. Oh, sorry, just around the nose. Okay. And by doing this, you're making it more look natural. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to create some line. Just to emphasize the jaws. All right, I'm going to get my black. Just to connect. And some more detailing on the nose part. Okay. like that. I'll be getting my light browns. I think I'll be using, you know, my, so I'm, I'll be using some dabbing, dabbing motions here. I'll be using my fan brush later. So I'll be creating some more light colors. Yeah. 
Let's create some light colors. Okay, I'm going to wet it a bit so that I get to spread the color more smoother, more smooth. Right, I'm going to get some browns. Okay, let's create some more depth. I'm going to get my black and I'm going to adjust it a bit, the shape of the jowls. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, okay? Jowls or jowls? And I'm applying some fur detailing right here near the mouth. Okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. This is super nice. I like it. And we haven't done the eyes, you know, the eyes will make all the difference. All right. Okay. So I'll be using now my fan brush because I really want to create some fur details. So I'll be using my fan brush. I'll be dabbing onto my yellow ochre. And I'm just going to start creating some um, fur-like brush strokes. So I'm, I'm allowing the bristles to do the job for me okay, i'm just holding it okay and try to move it in this direction in fur in the direction of fur okay i'm gonna dab onto my light brown this time and without washing my fan brush, I'm just going to make some upward direction brush strokes right here. And right here. Okay, I'm going to get my light brown again. This time, it should be here. On the ears. On the ear, I mean. We're only painting one side of the face, but um, it speaks a lot. It speaks more to me when this is the type of angle than just painting a dog's face, you know, like emotionless dog's face. 
I don't know why. Again, light brown. And maybe I'm gonna make it more, more brown. It's too light. Also here. And um, we're not yet done with the face, so just apply some more. Okay, I'm going to get my white. As you can probably tell, I'm not really using, I'm not really washing my brush. I just keep using the colors. I don't mind about, I don't mind the presence of other colors on my paintbrush as long as it's, um, it's the color that included, that's in, in what? <laughs> that's included in my palette. <laughs> I can't talk. Sometimes I can't talk properly. Okay, some more white. These are just highlights. When we do the eyes, this will make sense. Right, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to do the shape of the eyes. The eye, while wow, we're waiting for this to dry, okay? I'm going to get my black. And this is where the emotion of the dog will come to life. Okay, I'm going to wet my brush, and I'm using a really pointy brush, okay? Let me just move my canvas, all right? Using my pointy brush, let's create the eye shape. This space will be for the eye, and this will be like right here, right? It's like a um, chestnut. They say save the best for last. And I say the eye. It's perfect. All right, good, good. That's really great. I'm going to get my gray color. Gray, okay. More gray. And then white. So, 
It's like outlining it. Mm -hmm. All right, just like that. Oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Now I'm going to use a combination of brown. Actually, this is the color for the eyes, all right? Um, I don't have to change it. Okay, I'm going to get my black again. I was planning to underpaint it, but then I see that, I noticed that uh, it's already brown, so I don't have to. So I'm just going to use my black to create some more detailing. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to use my black again to apply more detailing. Okay, I'm using the watered down black so that it creates that pattern. So that it creates that pattern that um, suggest reflections in the eyes. Okay, I'm going to use again my gray color. Using some gray. Just like that. And then using some black. Let's just make some outline. You see, my neighbor actually has a dog. Uh, it's a small dog, by the way. I love dogs in general, but I prefer big dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear it barking. That's great. Okay. Gonna get my black again just to make sure that we uh, we outline this nicely. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm just gonna darken that area. Now I'm going to use some white. Okay, I'm going to use white. And I'm going to make some highlights right here on the eye part. Little dot. And some shine. Okay, that area is too wet. And right here. Like that. And I'm going to use this white while I'm on it to highlight the top of the face. To give it more light.
Okay, that's all right. We'll be going back to the eyes later, okay? I'm just gonna allow it to dry up to dry a bit. I'm going to use the remaining white to apply it on certain areas. Okay, I'm going to get my black. This is the cutest thing I've ever done, I think. So I'm getting my black just to get, you know, um, the whiskers. You know what? I'm I'm calling it whiskers. I don't know if whiskers are only for cats, but um, dogs also have those, right? You know what I mean, guys. <laughs> but then correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I call them whiskers. And if I'm incorrect, just let me know. <laughs> Send me a message, whatever. Um, just let me know. Okay, I'm applying a little bit of brownie colors. This will also serve as highlights. Okay, and again, brown. Maybe add a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm mean, sorry, uh, yellow ochre to, dark, to lighten a bit this section okay great and again just keep on adding more fur details use short 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 and quick brush strokes okay I'm going to get my black because I feel like this area is not super defined. And while I did not really mention it earlier, we'll be needing some blue colors, guys. I'm so sorry. I forgot to tell you that we'll be using blue. I'm just going to separate this area by darkening that space between this part and that part. I can still hear the dog of my neighbor barking because maybe because the dog knows that someone out there in the YouTube world is talking about dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go back to using our fan brush. Okay. And I'll be getting my yellow ochre again plus burnt sienna or brown red in my case. I'm just going to keep um, doing this until I'm happy. Okay. Again, brown. 
Let's create some eyebrows. I'll be using my pure brown red. You can use your pure burnt sienna just down the eye area so that you create more depth. I'll be mixing it with, with black so that I create more dark areas. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'll be washing my fan, my fan brush now because I feel that it has a lot of yellowy color. And I want to do... We will go back to the eyes, by the way. I want to do something else with the fur. But as I told you, I'll be using my blue. So get yourself your um, blue color. I'll be using my cerulean blue. Or primary blue, since that's the color that I grabbed. I really don't have an exact plan when it comes to choosing my colors. I just decide on the spot. Okay? I just decide on the spot. But of course, basically, I know the colors to use. However, in the middle of the painting session, I would decide to choose another color. Okay? So I'll be getting my blue. And I'll be adding white to that so it's light blue color. I'll be using that right here. And I'll be using my fingers to just spread that bluey color. And right here on the eye area, it adds some effect to this. You probably won't notice it, but it does. The nose. And I will correct the nose area later. Okay, just like that, very subtle. I'll be adding a little bit of blue V colors. Very, very lightly. You just want this color to be there. You don't want this to overpower the whole painting. Okay. All right, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to get my black because I'm going to make some adjustment to the nose. Nose area. Okay. Okay, as I got. Okay, I'm going to get my light brown. And white. Okay, I'm going to mix my white with my yellow ochre. Okay, I'm going to add more.
Okay. Just like that. Let me check. Oh my god, this is so nice. Do you think I should background it? I mean, this is already nice. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm not going to background this anymore. All right, let's background it, okay? I mean, it's good as is, but I think a background will not hurt. Hmm, what do you think? Okay, let's just background this because that was my first decision Decision anyway. So I'm going to use my brush, a very squarey, very, um, relatively large brush. I'm going to get my black. I'm going to create some... I'm mixing my black and my yellow ochre so that I create a little bit of greeny background. Okay. Okay, I'm going to darken the sides. I'm going to get a little bit of white. We will go back to the fur later once this is um, backgrounded. Let's just finish the background first. All right, easy, easy. Okay. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to get my green. Okay, using my green. Okay. I'm going to mix it with white and yellow, probably. Let's just make some light background. Just like this. I'm going to get my white, like, um, woke effect. Okay, just like that. It's very simple. The background is very simple. It just added some sort of mood. And that's really nice, right? It's a simple um, revision, but completely changed the whole painting. Mm. 
All right. Now let's go back to the fur because I cannot um, just allow it to be just like that. Let's create more details on the fur. I'll be using another brush. I'll be getting my light brown. And I'm going to start re-outlining. It's still wet. I mean, the background color is still wet. But the suggestion is for you to move away from the face of the dog so that um, you don't mix the background color with the details that we're doing. Gonna get again more yellow ochre. And more browns. Okay. And black. Right here. Okay. Now let's go to white. Let's highlight the mouth. This area is pretty much dry. Just like that, create that fur um, effect, All right? Yeah, I'm using some light browns down here. Some highlights. Okay, now using some pointy brush. Okay. I'm going to get my light brown. Okay. Let's create some like that. Try to be more natural when it comes to your application, okay? I'm going to get this time pure white.
Just like that. I'm still adding some light brownie colors. Okay. And some white. Okay, now I'm using gray and let's add a little bit of grayness right here. And also down here. some black colors this is so nice okay just gonna add a little bit of grainy gray colors okay just to make things more dimensional Then I'm going to use a little bit of brown, water down, just around the mouth again. Let's go back to that area. I love this one. Now, using blue, I'm going to color a little bit. Blue and white, sorry. I'm going to color a little bit the eyes of the dog. This one. Just to give it more life. Okay. And using some water down white, I'm just going to go ahead. Apply a little bit of water down white like that okay very nice and using black okay just like that
Okay. It's really good. This is really, really good. Just adding more detail. Okay, now using pure white. Actually, my white is not really pure. It's gonna go back to this nose. This is absolutely cute and nice, right guys? So I really enjoyed this one and I hope you did too. Okay, and for the bulky effect, I'm gonna use a little more bright white just to give it more light. Just to give it more light. Just keep adding it, give more drama, drama. <laughs> okay, great. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Okay, I really like this one. And I'm going to sign this now because, you know, we're done. Or maybe not, because you know me. I'm going to add a little bit of brownie color. Brownie color just here. And a little bit of blue. Okay, great. Okay, I like this one. Okay, I'm going to sign this now. And I'm going to use my white. I'm going to use my white to sign right here. Okay, we're finished. So I hope you enjoy that one, guys. I'm going to link in the description box below my other pet or animal painting tutorials and some other tutorials that I want to share with you. I mean, not share with you because they've already been shared in the past, but I just want you to have a recap or review of what I've done in the past so that, you know, you can still choose from among them and find out what other things you haven't done yet. So see you in my next one, guys, and have a great day. Have a nice weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you.